Hi folks, it's Andrew here, and today I'd like to tell you about the four V's. The four V's is a super simple module that I made. It's part of my Dintree series. Uh, you can download free schematics and find out more information at Dintree.com. But basically, the four V's was my attempt at just making four buffered voltages. You can just make a voltage from zero to five volts on each pot, and each one comes out a jack. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, behind here is a piece of proto board, has two op amps on it, has four pots on the panel, and uh, four output jacks as well. The power goes in here, and then there's some associated uh, related components. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let me show you how it works. Power comes in here. This is a 16 pin power connector that's used on most uh, Eurorack modules these days. Um, it takes uh, the outputs through diodes. There's two diodes, one for plus 12 and one for minus 12. And then the voltages are filtered by two capacitors. That just removes any kind of ripple or any kind of uh, variation that may be happening, high frequency ripples and stuff like that. And then each of the uh, op amps also has bypass capacitors from each supply to ground. You should always use a bypass capacitor on every power supply pin on your op amps and don't connect them together between the supplies. Some, some old uh, books show, you, show people doing that. You shouldn't do that. That doesn't help you at all. It just injects noise into the other side of the power supply instead of into the ground where, it's, where the noise belongs. Um, and then here's a, a little voltage regulator. This is just a traditional 78L05 low current 5 volt regulator. And, uh, and then there's four copies of the circuit, which is basically each of these dual op amps handles two channels. And then the output comes out here and goes into uh, a row of pins here, which represent the output jacks. So let's see. We've got a pot here. The, each of the four pots are connected to the 5 volt supply. That's all that's connected there. These happen to be 5K pots, but they could be any value, really. Um, I always put a series resistor. Uh, into op amps just as a matter of uh, good practice. It's not really necessary in this case, but it really it, it's a good practice to get into. Put a small series resistor. Um, it gives you extra flexibility in your circuit design later on, especially if you're making a board. And it also means that if you've got signals coming from different places, you can prevent any amount of high current from going in here that could possibly damage this if there's a signal going in when the unit's off, which probably wouldn't happen in this case, but could happen in other types of circuit scenarios. Anyway, when you turn this pot, this is a linear pot, it goes from 0 to 5 volts pretty much linearly as you turn it up and down. The, the voltage comes out here. Uh, because the negative feedback uh, uh, of this op amp goes into the uh, inverting input, and the signal is actually feeding into the non-inverting input, all this does is buffer the signal. You get the same voltage out, but you get more current. So because this is 5K or it could be 10K or any other uh, higher value, um, this can't really drive the output very much. Um, because this might, you know, if you put a load on here, this voltage would sag because there's a resistor divider effect happening. So to isolate this from this, the output side, you just put a buffer. That's pretty much all there is to it. The output impedance here is effectively zero. It's not really zero, but it's you could think of it as like infinitely small uh, output impedance. There's a little um, terminating resistor here so that when the unit's off, it will be terminated to zero uh, to ground. And then there's a 100 ohm output resistance, and that isolates the output from disturbing the op amp, which wouldn't really happen that much in this case. It also means that there's, if there's a short on your cable, you're not going to draw all the current out of the op amp. This will limit the current to some hopefully reasonable amount. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Just easy. You could make this in different configurations. There's not really a lot, uh, a lot of magic here. This is just a really simple utility module. And uh, you can build your own or build a different one. Um, a good use for this would be, let's say you've got a module that has no, uh, has a CV input for some function but no control on the front panel to do that same function, then you can use this to, to do that, uh, to control that. Uh, you can also use this in conjunction with another module that I make, uh, made called the uh, 
VC, uh, CV processor, quad CV processor, and it allows you to scale signals and add them together. You could add this to one of the inputs and you could offset a signal by a specific voltage if you wanted to do something like change the range of a modulation signal so that it only goes between a certain range. You could add the DC offset using a module like this. So there's lots of uses for just being able to make a voltage that's, uh, that's manually controllable. So that's the D104 4Vs.